We've got some Sounds news, good. though, to talk Yeah, about, we right? got some good car news, too. At the yeah. Detroit Auto Show this morning, U.S. Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox announced plans to solidify self-driving technology policy within the next six months. He also announced that President Obama pledged $4 billion into the 2017 budget for a 10-year plan to accelerate vehicle automation projects. Uh, the Washington Post reports that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration will work with automakers and state governments to develop prototype laws and regulations for state lawmakers to consider. Now, I, where to begin with this? The technology, the regulation, which is likely to work first? Uh, it's going to be the regulation. That's one of the bigger things that's hindering uh, autonomous car development in the U.S. is that it varies a lot from state to state. There are only four states right now that it's legal to test autonomous cars in, and there are other states talking about it, but it's not really happening. There's also a lot of questions about the legality of some things that auto manufacturers are bringing to the market right now. BMW, for example, in Europe, you can park your 7 Series without you being inside it. You can get out of the car, push a button on the remote control, and the car will park itself. <laughs> but they had to deactivate that here in the U.S. because they thought it was illegal, only to have Mercedes-Benz then launch a car that can actually do the same thing. Um, so there's been a lot of question about what is legal, what is not legal. And ultimately, this will help to make things a lot clearer and ultimately put federal laws in place so that everything is the same across the whole country and hopefully help the U.S. economy and the U.S. technology companies be leaders when it comes to autonomous car development. Well, Tesla, you can park without being in the car, too, right, with the summon feature. Um, exactly. Their update, yeah. like, they, they brought... You just clap in the air <laughs> yeah. and be like, Tesla. <laughs> but you have to do it on your property. But if you're a Tesla, okay. who knows how much property you have. So, yeah, I mean, they, they, they scaled back a little bit on, you know, the on some of the features. But then you can, you can summon your car and it can park itself without you in it, right? Right. The, the debate was about how exactly the car is engaged into drive effectively. And according to legislation, the brake pedal has to be depressed in order to shift the car into drive, basically. And it came down to a debate about how is the brake pedal depressed? Does a human being have to push the brake pedal? Right. Or can the brake pedal effectively push itself? BMW, BMW's interpretation was that a human has to do it. Uh, Tesla and and uh, Mercedes both said, well, uh, what if we just had the brake pedal push itself? Uh, and that was where it kind of came down to. So BMWs are getting an exemption now. They're going to bring that feature to the U.S., and, uh, and that is good news. But that's just one of those things where it's a little bit unclear exactly what is legal and what is not legal. And hopefully all this will help make everything a lot more clear. Yeah, it's like the difference between depressing a brake versus activating a brake. <laughs> you know, like de depressing right. actually involves some sort of like force that's uh, that's involved versus, you know, is that what they're really looking for or are they looking for just the the fact of it happening at all in some way, you know? And I can just imagine the debates going on in German boardrooms about what exactly this legislation means and how they can get around it and how they can figure it out. I'm sure it went on for a very long time. So, so with all this programming, hopefully that'll help. But ultimately, the investment going forward as well should also help uh, making some investments for things like vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to infrastructure communications so that cars can tell each other about problems on the road and those sorts of things help us to move forward when it comes to autonomous driving, uh, which again is going to be a huge boon for the economy if America, if America can establish itself as a leader in that area. And just uh, demonstrating safety, uh, obviously at the top. Uh, Fox was saying they're looking Absolutely. for a demonstration of equivalent or higher level of safety than what we have now. Um, we were talking just yesterday, actually, about Google and their self-driving report and, you know, the amount of disengagements where a human had to kind of take over control. They crunched the numbers and everything. And in that case, and what was it? It was like, uh, you know, standard uh, accidents would be 1.9 out of a million. Uh, in this case, it was like 30 out of a million. That is mm -hmm. definitely not less uh, or the same. That is much more, actually. So in that one right. isolated incident, uh, it seems like there's a way to go before... Uh, this would be, have mass kind of acceptance. Yeah, we definitely still have a ways to go, but we saw some other announcements here at the show that are relating to that. Ford, for example, sure. showed off an autonomous car that works in the snow, which is the first time we've seen that. Uh, the Google car has never seen snow and is still a long way away from being able to work in the snow. Uh, but ultimately, you know, there are, I think of all accidents, it's 90% are caused by human error. And it's hard to imagine us not being able to develop cars that can drive more safely than humans. Yeah, it's going to take a while for us to get there, uh, particularly if you're talking about a car that can cover every single situation that is ever going to be thrown at it. Um, but starting, you know, in limited environments, either on the highway, which is a relatively controlled environment, or in urban areas, uh, that's a relatively easy nut to crack. And it shouldn't be that long before we have cars that are safer than human drivers on average. Sure. I know Google's doing a really good job. 
of just, you know, saying how they're testing everything at Halloween. They had all the Google employees, children <laughs> parading in front of the self-driving mm -hmm. cars in costume so that a car would know, okay, that's not a child. That's a child dressed up like a minion, you know? So it's nice. like they've tried, they tried everything to, you know, to show us at least. They're, they have some good PR to show us that they're doing their best to put it into all kinds of crazy situations. But man, if that didn't work, that would be a disaster. Right there. Could have been a bad. Yeah, that Halloween could have been bad school. PR. <laughs> the whole <laughs> adage of any yeah any news is good news or any publicity is good publicity. Not the case in that in that scenario.